Hi, Vijay. Welcome to the session. Can you hear me? Just trying to check. We'll get started in some time. You can use the chat window to reply to me. Vijay, if you can hear me, please uh, do acknowledge in the chat window once so that I can get a quick confirmation that it's all good. All right, perfect. Thanks, Vijay. Uh, it's 2.33 p.m. We're going to get started in another few more minutes, maybe five, 10 minutes, depending upon when other people are going to join in. Right, so give me just 10 more minutes and we'll get started. Uh, have you joined any other session before than today's session? Just trying to check with you. Can I unmute you if, if that's okay? Or uh, if you're comfortable using the chat, you can do that too as well. This one session you've attended, all right. And I hope you have the uh, every session's recording with you. You have the recorded, recorded, all right, you have that, perfect. Any doubts, any queries, any questions for me? Vijay, before we get started with session for today, I mean, you have all the luxury to ask me any question uh, till the time nobody joins in, right? When others will join in, definitely we, it's going to be a group study altogether. Absolutely, I'll unmute you. Just give me a second. All right, I've unmuted you. Yeah. Hi, Nick. Uh, hey, Vijay. I'm Vijay from Hyderabad, actually. Yes, yes, Vijay, yeah. All right, so you were, you were yeah. on. Yes, I can. Can you hear me? You're, you're breaking up with. You're breaking up with. Let me just check it. Let me just change my. Hello? Internet. Yeah, give me a second. All right, uh, Vijay, you can try speaking now. All right, just trying to check now. Can you guys hear me now? Balan? Yes. All right, perfect, okay. All right, Vijay, yes, you were saying something. Please go ahead. Yeah, Nick, uh, this is Vijay from Hyderabad, actually. Yes. Uh, presently, I'm working for Pharma, uh, Novartis uh, Pharmaceutical Company. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, uh, the purpose of learning this tool is just I want to shift like a digital marketing side. All right, all right. Oh, this my past experience will uh, useful or uh, okay, not? Tell me more, more about your experience, like you're saying you're working with a pharma company. What's your role? Uh, live, live marketing only. I'm sorry, your your role is? Uh, marketing only. Marketing. Sales. Okay. Sales. sales. Okay. Pure so sales. Pure sales. So whom do you approach uh, for and for what product? What is your... Uh, we, we used to meet uh, doctors only for... Uh, uh, metabolics like uh, okay. sugar patients like okay okay so if uh, doctors and uh, so it's more of a do you do you, would you say this it's more of a b2b sales 
Institutional care? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and how, for how long you have been uh, into this role? Uh, almost seven, seven and a half years. Okay, okay. And, and right from the beginning, uh, it's, it's been this field or was there any other field also prior to that? On this field only. This field only. See, Vijay, yeah. I, uh, definitely, uh, see, I have to, now, now let's consider a situation uh, that you are done with your course you're done with the, you know, understanding each and every aspect of digital marketing. You work on it and you sort of work on your website, which we guys give you. So that will be sort of a project for you. Okay. okay. So one of the very first thing I am uh, letting you know, which is that it's very important for you to learn all these things and also implement on your, on your website, because till the time you won't have something to showcase that. Yes, you have implemented the digital marketing stuff. Uh, on a particular project. Now, nobody will give you project initially, that is for sure. So it, it makes sense to give you, uh, uh, you know, a, a hands-on, to get across hands-on, take your website only and implement all these digital marketing campaigns, activities, which you have been taught in this entire course, whether it's to do with Google paid ads, whether it's to do with the search engine optimization, which is the unpaid and social media and so forth, which we'll keep learning. That is number one. Now let's say, Two months down the line when you're done with all this and you are also you have implemented on your website and you go out in the market and you apply for jobs the kind of jobs which you would be looking for would be uh, purely with digital marketing agencies because only digital marketing agencies hire uh, you know uh, on consistent basis for such kind of profiles okay now most of the interviews which you will give would be with the digital marketing agencies. Now, in these agencies, if I talk about, these are companies which have got multiple clients to who for you know for whom they run campaigns, and when they will be looking for hiring a person uh, for which you will be applying for a job, they'll have you know you'll have competition with people who are there in the industry from quite some time also, experienced digital marketing professionals. So, in order to uh, go ahead and present yourself in front of that agency in front of that employer and letting them know that they should hire you and not someone else right you have to very intelligently present that the past experience which you had which is to do with the sales and the marketing the b2b uh, is going to help you in selling across their digital marketing services also only now, let me tell you the kind of role which you would have a fair and a better chance, uh, which is going to be the one where you would be uh, selling across the digital marketing services because there is, the, there is this mutual thing. The mutual thing between the digital marketing industry which you are trying to get in and what you already have. What you already have is a sales experience. So it's just only one thing which will change, uh, which is a product that you will be selling across. Now, this is one great way of getting into the industry. Look for, after the course is done, look for those uh, positions where sales people, mark, sales people in digital marketing agencies are needed. That, there, you know, you'll have a better, better chance. And once you enter inside the industry, inside an agency, then you have all the room to, you know, play around, learn what all things are being done, what all different, uh, you know, kind of professionals are there. And then decide whether you just be on the you want to be on the execution side or you do want to remain in the sales side and continue with it. So that's the approach. That's the approach to really make your experience get counted by an agency. Any follow up question you have? Does it answer your question? I can I can definitely go ahead and answer further more questions you have. If, uh, uh, Vijay, if you have. Uh, presently, I'm having that. Uh, there is a major question only. Why? Because uh, 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 actually, I am unable to get time to spend with uh, the sessions. Okay. So, if I sp spend more time with this, also, can I able to go whatever I am thinking like that? Uh, uh, that's what I am thinking. See, you would have to find out time. There is no other way out. Otherwise, yeah, it's yeah. going to be difficult, uh, and that's something you can 
and and if you're not if you're not finding time to attend the sessions the only thing which i can say is uh, refer to the recordings okay refer to the recordings yeah. and come up with your questions come up with your questions nitin is there to assist you to answer across your questions and nitin will pass on all the questions right oh, okay right so make sure that whatever you get to see in the recording you do implement it on your on side wherever you get stuck uh, try to google across and find out what's the solution for it even if google is not able to answer that you're not able to get across uh, the right answer to it send across a questionnaire send as many questions as you want okay okay all right so we are all here to help you out but just that you have to uh, take that challenge of finding out time that's that challenge is not just with you it's with everyone trust me yes with everyone <laughs> okay all right thanks vijay and i can see uh, so vijay can i uh, mute you will that be okay yeah yeah okay all right perfect all right so i can see goresh has also joined in i'll just uh, we will just wait for a couple of more minutes and wait for chetanya also to join in uh, because he did mention that he will be joining me he had some questions and goresh whatever questions you have feel free to put that across in the chat window or in in case you want me to unmute you i can unmute you also and uh, the link goresh which i have shared with you is the link through which you can uh, get across the 2000 rupees worth of uh, adwords coupon now you know that the uh, procedure has got changed these people google people actually want uh, you know an individual to call them up and uh, then take the coupon so otherwise they are not providing it they have become very strict on that and as you can see oh it says once first january 2016 i don't know what exactly is this happening i'll just check so that should work correct in terms of asking for a coupon let me just check for some more links and by the time i look for them uh, guys feel free to ask in across your questions and gorish did you try checking out your uh, what do you say certifications i'll just go ahead and open across just trying to check with you uh, the certifications the google certifications what was your email address this was the one right okay i think okay you you connected with me right okay see uh the way you check across goresh your certifications is by going into google.com forward slash partners okay goresh and then you go to my profile section all right see. with a different account right and let me just log into my personal account Karish did you check your uh, certifications should i tell you where the certifications are or you are aware of it or right, i'll just guide you perfect Okay, let me just go ahead and log in with your account, Andy. That that will. Okay, I'm logging in with mine. You, you're traveling, no problem. So just log in to your account by going on to the URL called google.com/partners. Okay, here's the URL: google.com/partners. Just open that across Quaresh in your one of your browsers. and use that same uh, email address and the password which uh, you provided me let me know once you have logged in i'll go ahead and then do the second step it's showing to join okay uh click on to yeah just click on to the login page i mean uh 
and then log in, log in across these with your username and password. Click on to join and then log in. Let me know when, so once you are logged in also, uh, Goresh, so that I can tell you the next step forward. Once you log in, this sort of a screen should be there in front of you. All right, so are you here on this screen? The same screen. If you are, you are right, perfect. Click onto my profile on the left, underneath overview. Click onto my profile, and since all these certifications have been provided by me to you, you will get all these certifications right up over here. Three, four, five, and six. Absolutely, you can take printout. So, you know what you can do? Click onto this AdWord Search Certified. Let's say one of the link. And it's going to make you see this particular print. Look at this particular certification. You can go ahead and print it out. Right? Just click onto print and then you will be able to. Perfect. So, here we go. We we can see one, two, three, four, five, and six. I believe you be you've got all the six certifications, right? All the six certifications are there for you. Perfect. And another thing, you can go ahead and even share across your profile URL with people, which will show that you are a. So Vijay, even I can, uh, I'll be giving you the certifications. All you have to do is give me across a new Google account's username and password so that I help you with the certifications, Vijay. All right, and then we'll get started with the session now and by, by doing a recap and then we'll move, in, but then we'll move further. So I was telling you another thing, which is your profile. Okay, you have to make it uh, public, all right? So, Koresh, when you will go further down on that same page, on that same page when you go further, make this public, all right? And then click on to view profile. Now, this URL, this URL which comes up onto the top, you can go ahead and share it across with people. So, I've shared mine just with you. Can you go ahead and share yours? The URL on the top of this page, right? Perfect. Just try it. All right, share it across once. Perfect. So let me just showcase you how others are going to see your profile, Gorish. So let's say you share across this URL of yours with me, I'm able to see your certifications. Uh, go ahead and upload across your, uh, you know, photograph over here, Gorish. Okay. So the way I have done across, the way I've got my uh, picture right over here, similarly, you get that uploaded. And once you will, yeah, perfect. Once you will have this URL shared with uh, your prospective employers and so forth, they are they'll able to, they will be able to get to see your certifications. All right, welcome to the session, uh, Bala. I think you joined in a bit, uh, a while back and you dropped off, uh, not a problem. 
we so as of now what you have missed is uh, the certification part so one of our one of the participants uh, along with you bala we have got goresh and vijay goresh uh, certification profile is right in front of you in this on the screen right which has been shared with you just trying to check bala uh, you you you're, you're able to hear me right you can reply in in the chat window or i'm not sure whether bala is able to hear me or not all right so uh goresh you're done i believe you can see the certifications now and you're good to go you can share this url and vijay and bala vijay is able to hear me and bala if you are to both of you if in case you also need across certifications all these certifications the google adwords adwords mobile adwords video adwords search adwords shopping adwords display google analytics all these six certification you would have to get give me a new google account username and password and once you give me i'll i'll get these certifications for you and uh, once you get these certifications i have shared the step by step procedure on how do you really get to see your certifications within a particular url called google.com forward slash partners and in that once you'll enter you'll see overview and my profile in that section underneath your photograph you'll see all these certifications you will click onto them and certifications would be right in front of you each all the six certifications one after another just like this this is one of those six certifications and plus if you want to uh, go ahead and publicize that you are a you know digital google certified digital marketer by using this particular public profile the way you get this public profile url is by going on to the bottom of this my profile page and clicking on to uh, public profile make it public and not just you and then click on to view profile the moment you click on to view profile you will get the url like this which you can share it across with uh, as many people as you can use it in your uh, email signature promote it across onto your what do you say facebook page your facebook profile and so forth make sense can i get a quick confirmation from vijay and bala specifically because goresh is done has understood this procedure vijay bala are you okay are you good shall we move further all right thanks vijay for acknowledging and uh, i'm not sure whether bala is able to hear me or not or right, since only goresh was there part of the previous session i would uh like you goresh to let me know what all topics do you remember from the previous session a sort of a small recap this is a this is the very first thing which we do in you know during the beginning of every session which is uh trying to recollect all the topics which we covered across in the previous session all right so goresh says we covered across adverts and its components absolutely correct and what all components do you remember and recall all right the setting section absolutely in the campaign settings there are several things which one can do in this uh, setting section right then we have studied across that is correct koresh uh, what do we mean by ctr what do we mean by bid what do we mean by budget that is absolutely correct any questions any doubts you have feel free to put that across as well in the chat window so that i can go ahead and answer that respectively absolutely we covered what exactly we mean by ad group what exactly we mean by campaign so there is an hierarchy that is absolutely correct what else any other uh, topic if you remember and any other doubt you have feel free to put that across goresh any doubt any query which you have bala uh, before i start with today's session please do put that across in the chat window all 
All right, so Koi says important notes, all right. Ad group name is 245 characters. Headline one to three characters. Headline one to three characters. Path fifteen characters. But well, the headline is thirty characters. You have written three characters. Okay, okay. Now you're saying it's thirty. Absolutely right. Ad group name is two fifty five. That's correct. Thirty, thirty, fifteen. And we spoke description is eighty characters. That is absolutely correct. We understood that part. That is correct. Citing extension has also got the character limit. Absolutely, we covered across the extensions. Right, all the ad extensions. That's good. What all ad extensions? No problem. We understood what exactly we mean by AdSense. That's correct, Gorish. All right, just give me a second. I'm gonna change the internet, guys. Give me a second. All right, so Google AdSense is also what we covered across. What else? We covered across Google Business also, that's correct. And Google Business is used across for what extension? So yeah, my next question was, what all other ad extensions do you remember? And did we have a live walkthrough? Location extension absolutely is another one. Look, the number extension is also called the call extension. That is correct. We covered what, absolutely yes. Call out extension was another one. That's correct, Gorish. Right, so it was the call extension, the, uh, Location extension, the call out extension. What else? Which other ad extension do you remember? So you must be having your notes. Do use that across, not a problem. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll be a bit slow. Absolutely correct. Structured snippet being the other one. Right, the message extension, the price extension. Yes, but we didn't cover across message and price in detail because these are the new extensions basically. Structured snippet, call out, the call extension, the location extension, an app, an app extension. All right. App be covered with an example of, yes. The Bank of America, absolutely right. Absolutely right. So as of now, uh, message and price extension, guys, I, I'm, I'm skipping that part right now, just like I said that I'm still exploring. I have created, but I'm yet to see the performance and once I'll be doing that, I'll definitely share it. It is a, a pretty new one. All right, but the other extension, uh, Gorish, which was the call, call out, structured snippet, and uh, the app extension, the location extension, we understood in detail. I am opening across my AdWords account. And whose AdWords account was that which I was working on? Let me just check. Have you checked the SAMP campaign? All right, no, I haven't, to be very precise. Let me just go ahead and do that. So uh, what I'll do right now, I'll send you across a request. Through that, I will be able to see your AdWords account 
I will be able to see your AdWords account in total in my agency account. All right. What I want you to do is, uh, Parish, give me across this 10 digit customer ID from your, of your Google AdWords account. This is something unique, which everyone, everyone's account has got a unique 10 digit customer ID. Once you give that, I'll send you a request. All right, thanks, Koresh. I'm just going to go ahead and take that 10 digit ID. So, just trying to understand, Goresh, what I'm doing right now. My Google AdWords account is the agency account, which is called MCC. MCC stands for My Client Central. All right, I can go ahead and connect across multiple individual AdWords accounts. So, let's say if I've got multiple, uh, you know, clients, I do not need to go ahead and log in and log out and log in and log out to all my agent, my client's account in a day to day, my day to day job in order to check, you know, everyone's AdWords account. If I'll keep doing this login and log out uh, stuff that, you know, let's say I, I'm logged in right now to client number one's AdWords account. I look into that account. Once I'm done, then I, lo I have to log out from client one and then I have to take, uh, continue that process further of logging in from my client's second client's account. If I'll keep doing this throughout the day, I'll, you know, I'll waste a lot of time. So that's the reason why Google AdWords gives across two forms of AdWords account. One is the agency account that is mine, right? And uh, the other individual accounts I'm going to link across. That's right. Interlinking basically. So I can add one account, which is I can link existing account. Yours is an existing account. I'm linking yours. And here's the customer ID. All right. And I'm clicking on to continue. And I'm putting across the name. So you're from the Feb 18th batch, Feb 18th, 2017. And I'm clicking on. So as you can see, it says request approval. Now there is going to be an email which you will receive in your email ID in, in your inbox. It might take a couple of minutes for you to receive an email, Agarish, which will say that uh, there is there's a request. There's a request for access of your Google AdWords account. Let me know once you get that, or even if you haven't, let's. Uh, got the email yet? Let me tell you what's the procedure like. What you have to do is give me a second. I'm just telling you the steps through which you can accept accept the invitation. So you know Google might take five ten minutes to send that invitation to you in your email. So let's not wait for that particular time period. Mail received? All right, perfect. If you have received the mail. Open the email and there's going to be a link which says accept the invitation. All right, so once you're done with the invitation acceptance, please do let me know.
accepted the invitation, let me know if you have any trouble. All right, so as of now, the invitation hasn't been accepted. Let me know if you face any trouble, I can definitely go ahead and help you out further. Right, so are you have you received the so you said you have received the email or are you reading it all right so you'll get a link within that yeah sure no problem Well, there is a, there would be a link in order to accept the invitation. In your email, there would be a URL basically, or a link or a, what you can say, a link or a URL, which you have to click in order to accept the invitation, which I have sent to you. The invitation which has been sent by me is in regards to uh, connecting my uh, Google AdWords agency, Google AdWords account with your individual AdWords account. It is opening the support link. Can you just copy paste the entire email on the chat window? All right. Okay, so they have given the instructions and not given the link this time. No problem, Goesh. Thanks for sharing that across. Really help. Let me tell you how you have to go ahead and accept the invitation. Well, log into your AdWords. You're already logged into your AdWords account. What you have to do is on the top extreme right, there's going to be a gear icon. Let me just show that. I'm giving you the instructions. So do you see this gear icon, right? You have to click onto this gear icon on the top of extreme top right and then click on to account settings. All right. Click on to account settings, the th second drop down, the second option in that drop down. All right. So the moment you're, you're done with clicking onto the second option, which was underneath that gear icon. All right, then on the left hand side, you'll get the very first tab, which says account access. All right, click on to account access, which is the very first tab on the left hand side. Then, then once you are, once you have clicked over there in the account sec access, you will get to see, uh, you know, an account, which is going to be on my name. It will say, uh, it will give you an option of accepting the, what do you say, invitation or declining the invitation you can go ahead and click on to accept perfect now i'm going back and trying to check your now i would be able to see your account without asking your accounts username and password your account has been interlinked 
to my Google AdWords, my, uh, my client central account. All right, so let me just see whether it's been connected. And here you go, right? Can you see? Your account is right up over here just because you accepted the invitation. Now I can see your account. So this is your AdWords account and here is campaign number one, which we can see. Now you saw various different things uh, and you performed all those things, I believe. You got the budget of $100 per day, you got the campaign time as a search campaign and it has got all features. So as of now it looks perfect. And then all those, all the other things are over here, all the other matrices. Now this is with regards to campaign. It's good, so far so good. In this, I want to see the settings, all right? Settings in the campaign part. All right, so over here, it says Google search and it's also included search partners, that's good. And your ad schedule is, has been done from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m., that's great. And your devices which you have selected, it's all, all right. So your type is all features, networks are, network is the search partners. Devices are all for which it's running across the ad. You can go ahead and change the device with start, with adjustment also, right? You can go ahead and do that. Right, so there, here are these overall devices. I'm going back to all settings. Devices, then location. With uh, with regards to location, you used uh, cities. All right, Gorish. I would also like to see whether you were able to do the, uh, what do you say, radius targeting or not. So next time you go ahead and implement, uh, and you know, make changes onto it, try to also do the radius targeting, which and also make sure that one of the places has been Excluded also, so you know these are this gives you some variation. So exclusion and also the radius targeting is needed plus a zip code level targeting, right? A zip code level targeting along with excluding is done perfect and zip code level targeting and radius targeting is something which I would like to do. Okay, Nagpur has been excluded. All right, so it's loading up again and okay, you said Nagpur has been excluded. All right, so okay, it's been done. I'm sorry, I didn't see that right above here. It's ex absolutely, it's excluded. And radius targeting, which you can do later on and zip code level targeting can be done later on. You got the languages up, you got the bid strategy, you got the budget up, right? Delivery method being defined. And then comes in ad extensions, right? So ad extension, we'll just see one by one, then advanced settings says your advertisement starts on March 5th and still March 15th. And ad scheduling 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. That's what you've done. You have optimized ad rotation for clicks and so forth. The other things are not needed. And this is all absolutely good. Uh, you've done it correctly. Looking at the ad extensions. Well, uh, none, of the site, none of the citing extension or let's say call out. So these ad extensions are not being made by you as of now. Call you have done, okay. I don't see any phone number. All 
right? So call extension don't have statistics for the selected date range. I think due to connectivity, it was not saved. Okay, not a problem. You can you can get that done later on. So as of now, up till now, it's all good. It's all good. All right, we can go ahead and uh, get started with the things. We can move further. And uh, I believe all the extensions were being done. We were and okay. I have to check the ads part also. You did mention that you have already got information about the number of character limits and so forth, right? So that's been taken care of. All right, this new agency and approved is. All right, so this would take some time to get you across the quality score. So you get to see the quality score over here. Now, just going on to the keyword section, just give me a second. In the keyword section, we've got all these keywords right up over here and I don't see any match types. So was match types was being covered? Broad, broad modifier, phrase match, exact match for keywords. Uh, that is to be covered in today. Did we cover? I think that's to be covered, right? The match types. Right. Okay, so this, this brings us uh, to the overall rephrasing of uh, what all have we done so far that also helps us to uh, do a sort of a re uh, you know a review of a particular advertisement campaign which has been created so i've checked the ads i've checked the ad extensions the ad so ad extensions are yet to be made ads and so forth and settings i just saw that similarly ad groups if I'll go to ad groups, it says the name of the ad group, the bidding price, which is the maximum CPC, and the clicks, impressions being received for it and so forth. All right, so now I would like to tell you guys that all these keywords which we put in across in a search campaign, so we were, as of now, we were only onto the search campaign. We haven't started with the search display campaign, guys. We have just done the search, it is not live, it is it is sample. Oh yes, absolutely. Uh, I can see, I mean, the billing details and have not been shared across, it's not being submitted, that's why it's not live, it's all sample, it's been just created up for the practice sake and so forth. Now the keywords guys, which we put in, acro put in across in the AdWords uh, account, quality score of the report, not generated. Yes, absolutely. The quality score and reports doesn't get generated since the ads are not live. All right. So as you can see, even for this. Okay. So I was saying that all of these ads guys, all of these ads have got another more element that's called a keyword match type. Okay. That helps us to go ahead and, uh, Keyword match types helps us to optimize across our entire campaign further. Now, how does that happen? Let me just tell you. Well, CTR, first of all, we have understood already. CTR stands for number of clicks divided by number of impressions into 100 gives us the click through rate. Right? We understood that part. Now here are the match types guys. Okay. Now before I uh, jump onto this, this is going to take some time. Just give me a couple of minutes. I'm, I'm going to just get across a, a glass of water for myself. Just two minutes guys, just two minutes. I'm going to be on hold. And meanwhile, you just have a look at this screen and uh, 
just try to recall that there are five sort of match types broad match broad modifier phrase exact and negative match and there are certain annotations which we put across in the google adwords account all right and what are these so broad match doesn't have any annotation or right any punctuation broad modifier match has got plus sign phrase match has got the inverted commas begin and inverted commas close and exact match has got inverted comma sorry bracket opens and bracket closed and negative match has got a negative sign now what does that really mean we we'll talk about this right so just give me one minute guys i'm just going to be on mute for a couple of minutes till the time you just have a look into it
All right, so I'm back. All right, so like I said, guys, with keyword match types, these are the five major math types which we'll try to understand. Now, what exactly we mean by match types? If I go to the Google AdWords account right next to uh, wherever I have put in across my keywords, you know, when we are seeing across keywords which we have entered or punched in, in our Google AdWords account, we click onto the keywords tab first. We do get to see each and every keyword which we have selected. And we also get to see the maximum bid which we have put in across for every single, every single keyword, all right? Now by default, every keyword guys has put in, has been put in across by Google AdWords on a broad match. This is the default match type, okay? How do I get to determine this? When I go ahead and click onto this keyword, as you can see, the cursor, you know, the mouse cursor is, when I, when I take it, when I take the mouse cursor onto the keyword and I click onto it, it says, before you edit this keyword, changing this keyword text or match type, all right? So keyword text is one element and match type is another element. It says changing the keyword text or match type will remove the existing keyword and create a new one. It says the old keyword statistics will still be visible or if you don't need to be uh, really bothered about this as of now. Click on to yes, I understand. And as you can see, it gives you the opportunity to change the keyword name. Well, we don't want to change the keyword name over here, but right next to the name of the keyword guys, there are this, there is this tab which has a drop down. When I click onto the drop down also, it gives me three options, broad match, exact match, and phrase match. All right. I have shown you five match types, broad, exact, phrase, and there were two more, exact and negative. I'll talk about all five and what exactly do they really help us with. In short, I will tell you, these match types are there for the purpose of going ahead and optimizing our AdWords account further, further more for making sure that our advertisements are only seen by the potential audience, people who would, uh, who are very much interested in buying across a product or a service, uh, like the, I mean, a product or a service which we are offering, the kind of a product or service which we are offering. Now, what's happening with this, with that being said, it means that we want to make sure that whatever clicks we receive or whatever money we spend as an advertiser in our AdWords account, that should be primarily majorly being spent when the, the people, when those people who are, who are looking to buy across, you know, something who are looking to get converted the most, only they are clicking onto my ad and I'm getting charged for it. It should not happen that anyone or everyone go ahead and click onto it. I am, I am making my advertisement campaign become much more successful this way, all right? In order to make it much more successful, I have to understand what are those different match types and when to use which one. Let's try to understand each one of them one by one and we'll understand it. Now, if you'll see this uh, keyword, which is over here, it says gas business, all right? As an advertiser, I have put in across gas business or let me take another keyword. Is there any keyword which has, all right, this one which has got uh, three words into it. Go gas dealership in Kolhapur, go gas dealership in Pune, or go gas dealership in uh, Satara and so forth. Now, if you find that, you know, if you, if you have entered across this keyword, go gas dealership in Kolhapur, you would be expecting, you would be expecting that your ad will pop up for this keyword, go gas, dealership in Pune. All right. So this was the one and, uh, right. Go gas dealership in Pune, right? You must have expected that, uh, if somebody types in across go gas dealership in Pune, then only my ad should appear. All right. I might not be falling across right now in that same geographical location for which your ad is uh, running. Uh, I mean, it's live. I mean, it's not even live also right now it's been made. I'm just taking across an example that you have been expected, you have been expecting Gaurish that your ad will 
come up all right when somebody types in kogas dealership in pune right now and now i have a question for you let's say if somebody types in gogas dealership in pune india now this is another search term so someone can type in even this search term it says gogas dealership in pune india now what is the what is the difference between the previous one and this one here is an additional word which says india now the moment somebody types in this do you think your ad will pop up if you have not punched in this entire thing gogas dealership in pune india the only keyword which you have entered across in google adwords was adwords was gogas dealership in pune my question is will your ad show across on a wording which says gogas dealership in pune india so i don't want a right answer from you i just want to understand your point of view like what do you think you can go for a guess also it's absolutely fine you haven't got this keyword mentioned gogas dealership in pune india you have not mentioned that in adwords but i my question is if you have not mentioned this the only word which you mentioned in google adwords was, was gogas dealership in pune only up till pune do you think if that's the case for gogas dealership in pune india your ad will pop up will show across in google search result you saying right targeting the local market only it is mentioned so you mean to say yes or no okay i'll just answer your question and that's great thanks you have also given the input that why it would come in because it's local market only it's mentioned and saying maybe by putting india i may get more inquiries okay okay i'll talk about these uh, what do you say match types and then you will understand further more that what am i talking about why i'm talking about this why i'm talking about this you have already understood that the usage of keyword match types is only for the purpose of making sure that we have very precise targeting you know it's like hitting the bulls eye maybe up till now when i had not really gone ahead and used the match types i have just used the campaign settings maybe i have uh, understood that i have to hit i have to hit uh, you know in the eyes of the bull but my aim is towards the bull in total but the moment i started using the keyword match types this time it's only going to be the eye of the bull only and nothing else which is visible to me and i'll i'll just aim for that with that being said let's try to understand each of these things guys from the basics let's understand first of all i would like to tell you there are two things which should not be confused amongst each other number one is search term so today if i type in across as i'm an internet market i'm an internet user all right i'm a search engine user i type in across a specific search term which says go gas dealership in pune all right this is my search term i am looking for a dealership for go gas in pune so as a basic i am an internet user and i go ahead and use search engine because i have a query in my mind i am translating that query by putting across a certain query in the search engine bar so this is called a search engine query guys a search query that's the that's for very first thing which i would like to tell you give me a second this is called a search query now search query is never ever should be confused across so this is search query now search query should not be confused with the words which the advertiser how do i delete this
All right. So this is the search query of an internet user. And on the other hand, the advertiser, the word which the advertiser puts in across are called keywords. So keywords and search query are two different things. These are the words which a search engine user is typing in. And these are the words which the advertiser is putting in across in the Google AdWords panel. All right. Now, the point is, anytime we as marketer put in across any keyword in the Google AdWords panel, we have to make sure that only those words should be put in, which have got some search frequency, which have got some searches, right? People who have been uh, typing across search queries, you know, various search queries at whatever frequency, we do get that across piece of information. We do get that information from one of the tools which Google AdWords provide and that's called Keyword Planner. We saw this in the keyword analysis uh, procedure while we were working on search engine optimization. The only reason we did that activity of keyword analysis was to make sure that we do not hit any sort of a wrong word which our end audience doesn't type in across. So if I'm optimizing my website or if I am creating across Google AdWords campaign for certain keywords, they, these keywords should be well thought of, well, th well thought of, or you can say uh, with the help of, well thought of with the help of the keyword planner tool. Keyword planner tool gives us which all search queries people type in across in the Google search bar and at what frequency also. All right. The word, the words which are typed in and also typed in across in a good frequency and are, and are stable and are relevant to my business and have lower competition only for those keywords, we should go ahead and optimize our website. That's pretty clear. We have understood this in way back. So search query, first of all, has to be equivalent to the keyword. Then only our, our AdWords campaign is going to be successful. Okay. Now with that, with that being said, what we will be understanding, what we will be doing right now is we'll be understanding these search types, the keyword match types to be precise. And uh, the first one, which is broad match, it has got no annotation. It's default, it's blank basically. The way we have all these keywords right now over here also, there is not even a comma or no, uh, what do you say, bracket open, bracket closed or no, inverted commas begin, inverted commas close and so forth. All right. So there is nothing over here in the keyword part with regards to the annotation for the broad match. Now broad match, no annotation, no punctuation. And where it says is the capital or small letters also matters if exact match is selected. Uh, not really. Capital or exact are, these are not case sensitive at all. They're not case sensitive. I believe you understand uh, the exact match type thing also. Uh, your, your questions uh, or if you understand them. So shall I be quick onto it? Or right, I'll be quick. So uh, maybe, uh, so Vijay, wherever you have any question, you can also let me know. If in case you have referred to the recordings, which are definitely you will be able to pick up on this and so forth. So the very first one, broad match has got no annotation. It's uh, blank. Broad modifier match type has got the annotation as plus sign. Phrase match has got the inverter, inverted commas begin, inverted commas closed. Exact match has got bracket open and bracket closed. And the negative match has got the negative sign. Now we are taking across an example, guys, over here. And uh, that example, in that example, we are first of all taking broad match type, which is the default match types. Let's say we as an advertiser put in across a keyword. We as an advertiser have put in across a keyword in the AdWords campaign, in the AdWords account, which says buy camera online, Nikon 3876. All right, buy camera online, Nikon 3876. There is no annotation neither nothing before nothing after and so forth just because it's broad now broad says the broad match where where this particular keyword has been mentioned in the adverts there are certain search queries which would be typed in across in the search bar in the google search bar we have to see that the advertisement which is connected to this particular keyword this particular keyword the bigger one by camera online nikon 3876 the advertisement connected to this 
uh, particular keyword does that appear for certain search queries or they do not appear let's try to understand that the very first search query which which is typed in the very first search query which is typed in by one of the search engine users guys in this case where very first keyword called buy camera online nikon 3876 is mentioned in broad match the first search query says buy shoes for men all right now we have to understand whether for this particular search query the advertisement connected to this keyword will trigger and will reflect across in the search engine uh, results or not all right that's the question for this search search query which is buy shoes for men the ad will trigger and ad will will get this uh, displayed why is that so why is that you know somebody typed in a keyword in this google adwords uh, tool which says buy camera online nikon 3876 and over here it's buy shoes for men the only reason why ad will trigger in this case ad will be shown is just because any one of the word is similar in broad what happens is any one of the words between the search query and the keyword has to be similar so over here what we can see the word buy and buy only these two are common in the words which a search engine user is typing in and in the words which the google adwords or the advertiser has put in across in the adwords campaign in the adwords section so with broad match the only criteria for showcasing an ad is one single word has to be common the search query number 2 says canon cameras the word camera over here so in the second in this search query it was by canon cameras but singular plural capital letters they all are not taken into consideration all right singular plural are also not taken into consideration it says canon cameras and uh, canon cameras it was a search query with an s all right with an s onto it now with this ad will trigger just because only one of the word has to be same if in the broad in the broad match type only one word only one word will trigger the ad okay one word has to be common between the two so the first one the word buy was common in the second search query the word camera was common and that will trigger and then in the third query which says go to school the ad will not trigger in this case because neither go nor to nor school are actually common right so in the search query and in the advertisers keyword none of the thing is common for the search query number three which says go to school whereas in the first search query and the second search query the words which were common was buy and camera singular and plural are uh, and, and also capital letters are uh, not going to restrict they they do not make across any restriction and they're not that sensitive so search query which is number three go to school ad will not trigger none of the words are common now search query number four which says online shopping websites now any one single word which is which was in the middle of the keyword of the advertiser and is the first word for the search query they both are common so the word online is common between the search query words and also the keyword so the keyword says buy camera online nikon and the search query says online shopping website the ad will trigger in this case because the word online is common all right so that's with broad with broad it is that only one word needs to be common between what the advertiser's keyword is right and what the search query is now similarly another search query says sony camera so camera is another word which is common and similarly search query another search query which says buy camera ca camera online nikon 3876 which is absolutely precisely the same keyword buy camera online nikon 373876 ad will trigger for this one also make sense are we clear from the about the broad match can i jump on to the another one which is broad modifier this time can i get a confirmation from you guys Gaurish and vijay all right thanks Gaurish. vijay are you good let me know your questions
All right, perfect. Thanks, Vijay, for acknowledging. Now, the second match type, which is called broad modifier match type, has got slightest effect from what we understood in the broad match. We are using similar example. Let's say advertiser who's the first one to put punch in across something will punch in the keyword in the Google AdWords panel. The Google AdWords panel has got the keyword now by camera online and the annotation, the punctuation, which is for broad modifier guys is the plus sign. Now in front of the every single word in a keyword phrase, before every single word of a keyword phrase, there is this annotation or the punctuation being submitted. That's the plus sign. The plus sign comes across for the broad modifier. Now what's the overall use of broad modifier and how broad and broad modifier are different? The use is similar, which I've been saying. It's all about optimizing your campaigns further and so forth. And the way you do it, with broad modifier, what exactly happens is broad modifier and broad has got something in common, which is that the words, if any single word, right, which is common in between the keyword and the search query, the ad will trigger. Okay. In the broad, it was there, but with broad modifier, every single word, which is part of the keyword, has to be part of the search query. So let's say the keyword which is entered across says buy camera online. Whereas, and they are put in across in broad modifier this time. All the three words have to be there. They have instructed this. So the advertiser has instructed that I want my advertisement only to be triggered and shown across. When the search query, when the search query have all the three, all the three in the sense buy and then camera and then online. Right, so it says the second search query. So the first one is buy shoes for men. For this buy shoes for men, if we talk about over here, the word buy is common. The word shoes is not for men, it's not. So ad will not trigger. All the words which are part of the advertiser, advertiser's keyword which he has punched in in the Google AdWords, all those words needs to be there in the search query, then only the ad will trigger. Now, similarly, the second search query says, buy online Sony camera. Now buy online Sony and then camera is there. So in this, the ad will trigger and there's gonna be, so uh, in, in that case, ad will trigger and there, there's gonna be, these three words which are responsible for it by online and camera. The one thing which I want to, want to tell you is in the broad modifier and the broad, what exactly the difference you saw is that with broad, it was anybody and everybody who, I mean, there was like plenty of ads which were getting triggered and so forth. Just because that only one word has to be common, right? The broad modifier says, out of all the ones, with broad modified, out of all the words which have been punched in across in the search query, at least all the words which are there in broad modifier are part of it, right? So buy and then camera and then online. So over here, what happens is in the broad modifier, there's a keyword which says buy online Sony camera. Okay, the search query says by online Sony camera, it would be seen across in the AdWords panel that which all keywords are there, plus at which all frequency, I mean, which all uh, match type basically. So let's say in the search query, it is typed in by online Sony camera, and it was in the, uh, what do you say? buy cameras online it's so it was in the so search query basically i was saying and it was a keyword keyword which said buy camera online 
So it was the keyword which had plus buy a plus camera online and it was in the search query. I'm repeating again, it was in the search query that somebody were typing in buy online Sony camera, buy camera Nikon online and so forth. So those words which were which were being part of the search query and all the three words coming in and the ad was getting triggered. So in the first one, the ad was not getting triggered just because out of all the words, there could have been one word which didn't really became part of the key advertisers. Oh, sorry, the, the advertiser search query and so forth. And the, all the three needs to be there. In the search query, buy shoes for men. Buy is there. Shoes is not. Men is not. So since th that is not matching up, that's why ad will not trigger for the first one. In the second one, it says buy online Sony camera. So the word buy is there. Sony isn't, but the words online is there. Plus, uh, camera is also there. So all the three words which are part of the search query of the, of the keyword basically are part of the search query. And that's how the ad will trigger. So out of, the, out of all the search queries, one has to look for these three cameras being utilized, being put in across. Right, so buy camera online all three words have to be part of the search query for the ad to be triggered. As you can see in the first one, buy is there, camera isn't there, online isn't there, so ad will not trigger. Whereas when you go for a search query that says buy online Sony camera, and in the broad modifier match type, it says buy cameras online. So as you can see, buy and then camera and then online, all these three needs to be there in your search query. So this one search query number two says buy is there, camera is there, and online is there, right? It definitely does involve some changes in the sequence plus additional words being used, right? Despite of additional words, despite of, uh, what do you say, wordings and so forth, still the three words are coming in and that's the overall prerequisite. So, buy online Sony camera over here. It means is the word, the very first one buy and then camera is also there. And then on online is also there in the search query. So ad will trigger. Similarly, third one buy camera Nikon online. So the word first, which is buy and then camera, which is another one, which says buy and then online is there. That's also, that is there. So all the three words in the advertiser are part of the search query and that's why ad is triggering across. Now another search query guys, which is online shopping websites over here. Online is common between the two. Shopping isn't. Buy isn't and cameras it isn't. It isn't. Whereas with the other search query, it says buy camera. So buy is there and then camera is there. Now all the three words are also not, uh, you know, being part of the search query. That's why ad will not trigger. Had it been broad, it could have. So all the three words needs to be there. All the three words, which is buy also there and camera also there and online also there in order to, in order to get this cow, you know, advertisement being triggered and showcased across. In order to add to be triggered and showcased across, which is under broad modifier, all the three words needs to be similar in the search query, which have been taken across from the keyword list. And the other one is, let's say, buy camera, the word buy, and then cameras are also there, but ad will not trigger. And then the last one is, search query is, buy cam online camera buy. So online is there, camera is there, and buy is there. The definitely the sequence isn't there, right? It says online camera buy and uh, ad will trigger in this case. Mm -hmm. Ad will trigger in this case because online and then camera and then buy, all the three words are part of it, right? When three words are part of it, ad will trigger for sure. All the three words are part of it. Right, so this is to do with broad modify and match type. I've told you the annotation. I've told you what is the difference like. Similarly, phrase match, guys. Now, phrase match is all about getting 
further more strict onto the uh, advertisement to be shown across. With phrase match ma match type, advertisers is equal to excuse me. This is yeah. So the advertiser has put in across a keyword this time, which is the same by camera online. So the keyword remains same. It's just that just that the annotation changes with the face match. This time, instead of a plus sign, there's an inverted comma sign. Inverted comma, you know, text which is before and after of the keyword. Now, over here for the ad to be triggered across, same similar concept, which is that all the three words which are part of the search query needs to be there in the advertiser all the sorry all the three words of the keyword all the words in the entire keyword which is buy and then camera and then online all the three words which are being put in across in the adverts have to be there in the entire keyword right all the words in the entire keyword phrase should be part of the search query but there is one additional thing over here which is in the same sequence Earlier in the broad modifier, it was like all the three words should be there, right? But the sequence wasn't matter. But with phrase match, we keep it like all the three words have to be there. All the three words of the keywords have to be there in the search query for the ad to trigger, but in the same sequence. If the sequence is by camera and then online, then only if uh, you know there's going to be an ad which will get triggered. Now. With that being said, in the example, in the search query, it says buy shoes for men, ad will not trigger. Why is that? Because buy is common, shoes isn't, and uh, men, is, it, is, it isn't, right? So ad will not trigger. Similarly, another search query which says buy camera online. So buy camera online was the only one or only thing which I had also in my keyword and people who are typing in the search engine query in the search engine bar says buy camera online off Canon. So buy camera online off Canon basically. Over here the ad will trigger reason being the prerequisite is that all the words of the keyword should be there anything after or anything before is not of a matter, right? All the three words should be there, that too in the same sequence, which was there in the broad modifier also, that all three needs to be there, but sequence was not of a matter. Over here, all the three words should be there, should be part of the search query, but in the same sequence. So this is the top line of it. So as you can see, there are few furthermore things which keeps getting Standing up and tighten up. In the first one, it says that all out of all the words which are there in the search query and also in the what do you say keyword, only one word, only one word common between the these two is sufficient enough for the ad to run. with broad modifier, which does have the punctuation as plus sign, all the three words of your keyword needs to be part of your search query, right? But sequence is not a matter. With phrase match, there's one thing more on top of it. It says all the three words, all the three words in the entire keyword phrase, all the words in the entire keyword phrase, which is by camera online, they all three should be part of the search query and that too in the same sequence. All right, then only the ad will trigger. Something like this, it says buy camera online off Canon. So the buy camera online thing is there and you're adding another thing which is off Canon. The third search query says buy Canon camera online. So buy and then Canon. So sequence is getting uh, broken up. There is no way ad will trigger. Another search query says buy camera online in India. Buy and then camera and then online. But what's actually there after this? 
that's also not considered over here it's only in the same sequence so anything after this these three words or anything before these three words will be considered only in the exact match type so with phrase the sequence needs to be same right plus the all the words needs to be there for the add to trigger but anything after these three words anything before these three words right they they have a role also to play but that is in the exact match type now here so i'll just talk about phrase match in a while with the exact match type what you can see over here with the exact match what happens is when the advertiser puts in across a keyword in the google search bar which is let's say again it's my camera online and on the other side of the table which is on the search engine query a search engine user comes in and types in across a keyword by camera online which is the same right which is absolutely same by can by camera online in the search query and it's similar to what is there in the keyword basically so the keyword one and the search query one all the three and remains i mean if they come in now come out to be same the ad will trigger but let's say just like phrase match type you have these three words which is by camera online in your search query also but you have anything after this or before this then that won't remain exact match type with exact match type it has to be only and only these three words have to be put in across then the ad will trigger nothing after this and nothing before this right so by camera online guys ad will trigger in this case and similarly in the search query by camera online off canon off canon so by camera online off canon it says ad will not trigger because it's exact match now similarly another one sony by cameras online now sony is on is before sony by cameras online had it been on phrase the ad will have triggered but with exact match ad will not trigger ad will not trigger for sony by camera online makes sense all right perfect one second all right so can i get a quick confirmation guys if you guys are understood if you guys have understood the first four major match types if you have any question related to these four match types negative i'll talk about later these four keyword match types is it clear to each one of you vijay and gorish perfect now talking about the fifth match type which is negative this negative match type is used across with a specific positive one only we usually use them across with you know a broad modifier with phrase and so forth and here you go we have got an example which showcase the negative match match types importance and so forth the negative match types is used again for the purpose of restricting an ad to not to come now let's say in the phrase match type what we discussed that for phrase match type if a keyword has to if 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 the ad has to be shown for a specific keyword then all the three words needs to be there right when it comes down to phrase match i'm saying it again for with phrase match what what we understood that all the words in mentioned in your keywords should be made part of the search query all right should be made part of the search query then only the ad will trigger and that will be the same sequence but in this case let's say there were couple of uh, what do you say search queries where the ad got triggered 
and this one is buy cam camera online in india so for the keyword buy camera online online in india for this ad will trigger just because buy is there camera is there online is there okay and the search term for which the ad was getting triggered was buy camera online in india now google search adwords the google adwords doesn't just let us know that whether there was a click and so forth or not but it also tells us for which particular search term for which particular search term the ad appeared all right so for the search term buy camera online of cam canon or buy camera online in india for these the ads will appear right anything after these three words or anything before these three words is absolutely okay to go with now with the negative match types guys what exactly happens is let's say in the phrase match my work somehow let's say got a uh, good boost and so forth just because of you know a specific tool that's called sony uh, buy camera online so if somebody types in across sony buy camera online right the ad will trigger if in case negative match type is not used with the, with the phrase match only with the phrase match sony buy camera online for this ad will trigger reason being the word buy and then camera and then online these three words i have come in together and then the same sequence right and they are present as a part of the search query too anything which is word before or after is okay but let's say in this example take this example further i get to know that my ad has been appearing and been shown across for such kind of a search term which is sony buy camera online or buy camera online in india or buy cameras on is somebody on the mute or the unmute mode can i have i tell you or vijay i'm uh, making you on mute mode just give me a second all right so sony buy camera online since for this particular ad the ad was triggering and also for buy camera online in india ad was getting triggered and buy camera online off canon ad was triggered now let's say i get to know that these search terms have triggered my ad in google adwords we get to know that for these for, for which search term my ad will trigger when i get to know the search terms for which my ad gets triggered i would be able to make a decision or a judgment whether those search terms were related to what i offer or not well let's say i get to know that uh buy camera online of cam canon buy camera online in india and sony buy camera online these triggered my ad i get to see that i mean i know that i do not serve a sony uh, a sony camera i do not serve canon camera i do not serve cameras in india also all right so there is no point in serving in in you know having these words canon india and sony in my search terms and get my ad triggered so what we can do with the phrase match with the phrase match uh, we will punch in the keyword buy camera online in the phrase phrase match in the phrase punctuation plus we'll enter across a negative a negative cam match which is canon india canon india and sony we'll enter negative negative and negative all of that and what will happen my search query for these search queries my ad which was getting triggered uh, which is like buy camera online of can uh, buy camera online of canon buy camera online in india sony buy camera online for which the ad was getting triggered now even for these the ad will not trigger even for these search query because i am making sure that people who first of all want to buy a camera they should only get to see my ad that was one point now after that after you implementing the right set of match type i also implement across the right set of negative words in the negative match type after making my advertisement work for a certain period of time and so forth i look at the search terms and then i go ahead and mention canon india and sony in the negative match types after putting that across my ad will not get triggered for those also because at the end of the day if i do not sell sony cameras canon cameras or cameras in india i have i'm not getting any value out of it i'm just getting clicks and i'm not getting any conversions out of those clicks 
make sense i'll show you practically also where do we get to see that and so forth or where do we place the negative match types also are we clear as of now with the explanation with all the five can i get confirmation again goresh vijay are you good with the negative match type also after these four major match types or it which is says yes i'll explain this further with your example so let's say you had the go gas okay it's clear okay if you have to put in a cross a negative match a negative match type where do you put that let me tell you this you first of all when your ad will run gorish when your ad will run there's going to be a dimensions tab which is right over here you will go to the dimensions tab all right in the dimensions tab you will get to see in the dimensions you will have view and then you will get you will click onto search terms so i'm re repeating again negative match type should not be used across initially because at in the initial phase you will not able to understand what terms should i put in the negative you get ideas when your ad will run you go to the dimensions click onto view and then click onto search terms okay now when your ad will run when your ad will run for whatever search term your ad has got shown you will get to see over here from there you will see whether each and every word in the search terms are related to your business or not if they're not then you will go back to the then you will uh, you know you will get the idea of what all words to be put in the negative match so when you have got the idea of what regards to the negative match you will go back to the keyword section click on to negative keywords and at an ad group level or at a uh, campaign level at any of the level you can go ahead and click on to keywords negative keyword and you can enter let's say whatever thing let's say you do not provide free gas or whatever you enter across the word free into it that's it that's how you put in across all right so that's to do with the overall search uh, thing guys we are done with overall search campaigns the next thing with the google adwords is the creation of the uh, display campaign we have understood the display part also theoretically in terms of targeting and so forth we'll do a recap of that and we'll start with the uh, implementation part so that's going to be the first time implementation and creation of a display campaign which is like a banner image ad and that too this time not on a search engine result page because on a search engine result page you do not get to see a banner image ad and so forth we will be creating across a banner image ad which will be placed across on different third party websites which are part of google display network all right we'll go for a 20 minutes break right now and then after the break we'll get started with that all right so i'm going to put myself on to mute and each one of you can go for a break guys and then we'll meet after the break all right perfect
All right, so let's get started after break, guys. Just trying to check if you can hear me. Please to acknowledge in the chat window. All right, thanks, Koresh. And hope, uh, Vijay, you can also hear me. All right, perfect. Now, like I said, uh, we have done with the overall the search campaign, guys. All right, within that, the only last thing which was remaining after the ad extension was the keyword stuff. We understood how do we really work around the negative keywords and all the different keyword match types. Last thing, if I want to put in across a broad modifier match, guys, for a specific keyword, how do I do that? I have to, I have to tell you that. Because if I have to put across a keyword into broad exact or phrase, that's very well available. But if I have to put in across a specific keyword into broad modifier, which is a, another one, I would have to put in across manually over here, a plus sign before this, a plus sign before this, you know, the words, and then similarly, a plus sign right over here. And then let this be broad and then click on to save. What has happened? The overall, uh, match type for this specific keyword has moved from the broad to the broad modifier. All right. That was one thing which was left. Now we will jump on and we'll uh, start with the display ads. I hope those basics guys, you do remember what do we mean by GDN, which is Google display network and what exactly Google AdSense is all about. What do we, uh, I mean, we, as an advertiser do not have to really do anything with the Google AdSense. It's only the publishers who do get on to Google AdSense with the purpose, with the objective of making money, right? By offering across space to their, by offering across space to their, um, to, to basically to Google, so that Google can go ahead and offer that space to advertisers who approach them. And advertisers approach Google through Google AdWords, the way we are doing it, right? Now, all these websites, all these publishers who approach Google through Google AdSense, uh, they together collectively they are called Google Display Network, right? So there are millions of websites in a Google Display Network, all right? Now, which all websites are part of Google Display Network? And on those websites, uh, we need to really know that. And only on those websites, we will be able to punch in across or uh, showcase across our banner ad. How do we get onto that process? Let's let's try to understand that part. Okay, so. The very first thing when we get started with the display campaign, the first step is to go to the campaign tabs. Last time it was a search campaign. That's why uh, you do have this, what do you say? Search uh, icon. So this is a search icon basically, which is used for search uh, campaign. This time we're going to be clicking on to plus campaign. And instead of search, we will be selecting across the display network. It says Google's network of partner websites, all the Google display network sites. Now, either I go ahead and uh, start with this or I can start with another way, which is by getting onto this tool section, guys. Okay. I'm clicking onto tools and going on to this particular tool called display planner. Now this tool guys helps us to understand which all websites are part of Google display network and precisely the ones which are, you know, suggested for our set of, uh, what do you say precisely for our set of business. Now I just want to check Koresh, uh, do you have a website for which I should uh, run this across because since I'm using your AdWords account as of now, I do want to check if you have uh, so you've created an advertisement, did you use across a website for that very purpose? For this gas thing, the gas dealership thing? If you have, please uh, share across the URL for the same. All right, you have that. It's the official page, okay. Now what we will be doing is, you have already created across uh, one of the search campaign Okay, now this time we will be creating across a campaign for a display campaign basically. Okay, this is the home page URL. I'm copying this across. We're going back and 
I'm going back to the display planner tool. Now, in order to use this display planner tool, we first of all need to understand what exactly this tool is going to help us with. This tool is pri primarily for setting up our display campaign. When we talk about display campaign, I am saying it again. It is all about showcasing our advertisement on display websites, as in the display network websites. Google's display network has got thousands of, uh, hundred thousands of websites which Google has partnered with. And the way they have partnered is with the help of Google AdSense only. Now out of so many thousands of websites on which website should we go ahead and showcase our advertisement, this tool will help us to uh, give, give us that piece of information. Okay. Another thing is, uh, the targeting ideas is going to be there, right? Another thing which I want to remind you, we did study this across that ad types in the display network are not just the banner ads. One of the ad type is the image ad, which we get to uh, create. We can create and then upload it across on various different websites, which are part of Google display network. But there are other than the, there are uh, more than that. There are more than uh, the, image ad and that's the text ad and also the video ad. So there are three ad types which can be created and either we create all three of them or just any two of them or just one of them, one of those three and we will create them and we'll showcase them on these third party websites. Whereas in the search, there was only one ad type, which was the text ad text ad was being created and we were placing it across only on the search engine result page, which Google owns, right? And uh, the targeting was being done with the help of the keywords, which we as an advertiser was punching it across in the Google AdWords panel only. Over here, the ad types, instead of one for display, it becomes three, text, image, and video. Text, image, and video, three of the ad types can be created. And where are they going to be placed this time? They're not going to be placed on the search engine result page. It was only in the search campaign in the display one. It will be shown across on various different, uh, websites, which, and also mobile apps and also, uh, YouTube videos. We'll talk about YouTube videos as a separate thing altogether, but on all these different pa parts, which I'm talking about, majorly the mobile apps and the mobile websites and the desktop websites, which are part of the Google display network who have actually contacted Google through Google AdSense and have they've got the approval starting with the display planner tool. The idea with display planner tool is to get across targeting ideas. Okay. Where can we showcase across our display ads? Where should we target it across? We will go ahead and use across the very first tab in this. It's called search for new targeted targeting ideas using a phrase website or category. Okay. I'm clicking it over here. And it says enter customers, your customers are interested in. All right. Uh, Goresh, what I can do right now, since, uh, you have used Google AdWords and uh, you've used the key, uh, the other stuff also, I'm giving you the mouse control. You can start typing in all these things over here so that, uh, would you, would it be okay if I'll give you the mouse control and the keyboard control? You can, uh, play. All right. Perfect. Just give me a second. All right. You must have got the invitation. You can accept the invitation to control the mouse. All right. Now you can start typing in certain keywords, which is related to your website. Since you know your website well, and you can type in your website URL also in the landing page section. All right. It's not letting you do that. Are you able to type in? All right. Uh, well, uh, okay. The website name is not going to be pinched, punched in over here. Uh, just because, uh, wait, sir. this is actually the landing page URL. So which will come in the bottom section, right? So yeah, it's the URL is going to come down over here, over here. We have to type in what your customers are, customers are interested in, in short, uh, the product which you're offering from your website. All right. Absolutely. LPG. Now you can, uh, click on to enter or yes, absolutely. Com also works.
perfect. So these are various keywords on the basis of which, you know, Google is going to suggest us where are the display ads should really come in. Then the next thing is the landing page, which is our website page. You can do control V at, okay. I can go dash.co. Now, what is your targeting? I mean, is there a specific, so I think you did mention certain cities. You can remove United States and you can intrude across other cities which you were targeting. All right, so take your time, no problem. All right, so it's again, I think it's still showing United States. So I'm not sure why that happened. Okay, are you looking at uh, New Delhi? So just type in New Delhi in that case. Instead of Delhi, uh, I think it's gonna take New Delhi, India. There you go, All right. Right. South India is actually uh, a region, so not sure whether that will come or not. So either a state or a city or a country or a zip code. All right, here you go with Karnataka there on the top. Oops. Okay. Okay. Uh, hang on. I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll just help you out. No problem. I know it can become a trouble. So I'll, I'll take the access back. All right. So the access there with me, I'll just go ahead and add in quickly. So new Delhi is one. It happens. It's okay. And the next one was Karnataka, which you were trying to enter. What all other state and cities do you want me to type in? I think it was Pune as well, which you wanted me to type in. All right, Maharashtra in total. Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh. All right, so okay. Uh, let's go. Oh my goodness. What's happening in here? It is, this is giving a tough time. So New Delhi, I think it's all about clicking onto the save button. That didn't happen. Gujarat. All right. Maharashtra. Uttar Pradesh. All right, I'm clicking on to save. Here we go. So it's been saved. Now the next thing is bidding type, let it be CPC, ad formats. Uh, ad formats, guys, it's basically 
it's asking us do you have what all ad formats do you have do you have a video do you, which you want to show do you have an image do you have an animated video also guys so within the animated videos do, you know you got the flash you have the option of selecting html5 so these are some technologies right these are animated uh, what do you say animated ads so if you have a video ad if you have an image ad uh, and if you have an html5 and a flash you can select these plus what all sizes now these there are certain uh, standard sizes which google says that we permit onto onto our display network websites out of all the display network websites uh, any one of these i mean only these selected uh, banner ads or the animated ads dimensions are accepted okay all of these options are there with respect to square and rectangular banner ads here are the sizes 120 pixel by 60 and similarly 125 by 125 and so forth and in terms of skyscrapers skyscrapers are the ones which are on the top leaderboards are also bigger ads in the rectangular shape then also if you want uh, advertisement on mobile apps then here are the dimensions okay and uh, you can go ahead with all of these and add presets these are dimensions in pixels absolutely uh, the dimensions are always in pixels uh, not in inches by centimeter whenever you will ask across any designer to go ahead and uh, create across an ad for you a design it's always going to be in pixel so the the overall metric which is used for measuring the uh, length and breadth of a you know width length breadth whatever you want to call that of a specific banner ad it's always in pixel right so that's the dimension is in pixel only makes sense uh, does it answer or if you still have further question let me know i'm clicking on to save i want to know every single option for let's say i've got all the banner ads i've got banner ads for all the sizes i've got my designer to create across banner ads for all these now i'll also show you how do you create banner ads guys without having any dependency on a designer let's say if you do not have a designer also how would you work around that that part also i'll show you as of now assume that you have both the options one of the option is that you have a designer with you and you give the designer your you know the dimensions that this much pixel by this much pixel this much pixel by this much pixel all of these dimensions i need my banner ads in this right with this content that content with this image and that image and that i'm clicking on to save i want all the ad formats to be accepted and the language to be in english bidding type to be cpc bidding type there is another one which is called uh, what do you say cpm bidding guys focus on viewable impressions what it stands for a uh, thousand times you know cpm stands for cost per thousand 1000 times my ad is going to be shown i have have to put in i have to pay across a certain amount of money either i pay on a per click basis now this is something which is unique only to display campaigns guys in the search campaign what we understood the way we pay to google is always on the per click basis right whenever there is going to be a click on my ad there is going to be certain amount the actual cost per click which we understood in our previous sessions now if we talk about the cpm bidding which is only uh, there for the display campaign display network not for the search one this one it says that we have to put in across a bid for every 1000 times my ad is going to be shown if 1000 people are going to view basically view across my ad i have to pay a certain price i can put in across any sort of a bid at this point of time click on to save and then it says get ad group ideas or get placement ideas now you can use any of them they both will give you the ideas basically with regards to the websites which are part of google display network and where you should show in your uh, banner ads on which all websites plus not all that various other targeting uh, suggestions will be given across by this tool so i'm clicking on to get placement ideas all right now this tool is actually going to give us across a lot of suggestions on the basis of the inputs which we have given the inputs which we have given across is the landing page the product and service which is what our customers would be interested in buying across plus uh, the other inputs we gave us on the location perspective and so forth now over here 
like i said either we do ad group ideas or placement ideas both the options will come for sure okay karish was your previous question being answered the pixel one or you still have a question let me know i can go ahead and answer your, any of your follow up question if there is something which uh, is there you want me to ask at the moment no okay you can ask me wherever vijay wherever you have any question feel free to put that across please in the chat window now over here we have got so many uh, suggestions guys with regards to where should our ad be shown across now there are various ways through which we inform google adwords that this is where our ads should be shown across if i have to tell google adwords that my ads should be shown across on certain specific websites which are part of the google display network now here are these suggestions it is suggesting google adwords is suggesting sh a show across your ad on a website a website called lpgsubsidy.in all right a website on a website which is by the name of uh, lowpole.org another one nkg live another one ebharat.in i can see the all these websites which we are over here which is our over here online gas booking my petrol price gas booking.co.in indian gas booking.in indian gas.in natural gas uh, world.com lpg connection.in all of these website bharat gas aadhar stats bharat gas booking right hp gas booking gas agent cng stations.in and cng lpg.in and several others link aadhar card indian petrol price you can see there is a strong connect there is a strong connect in the kind of uh, banner ads we are going to have uh right the message which is going to be there and also in the kind of website so these are the websites guys basically where it's suggesting that you should show across your ads onto these now it's up to us which one do we really go ahead and select across now these are the sites if i go ahead and i can i can pick and choose the mobile apps also now all of these websites are part of google display network and they all have uh google adsense running on their websites they all want to monetize they all are looking at monetizing their you know traffic which is there even the ad formats which these websites are accepting that's right given over here if i if you click on do this the first one says text ads are also accepted onto it then leaderboard ads by this much pixel by this much pixel they are also accepted similarly square and rectangular ads this much all these dimensions are given and then skyscraper images uh, are also this much the dimensions are given plus the mobile ads the last one is the mobile ad sizes even on their mobile website the ads are acceptable uh, but they do not have any video options right there are only there would be very few i can see none of the websites as of now have got the video uh, option as of now now you know how these options really get enabled when this website lpg subsidy.in would have got themselves registered with google adsense and uh, their application would have got accepted they would have logged into their google adsense account and there is an option in every play, uh, you know every publisher's website adsense account there is an option to pick and choose the size of the banner which the publisher wants to offer across from their website on the, on their each and every respective web page they have the option of picking and choosing so once they make those options available then only we get to see as an advertiser over here all right this particular data guys is also giving us information about the history cost per click so in the past the cost per click for uh, these websites have been in between 0 to uh, 15 indian rupees and so forth and so forth and plus how many cook how many impressions per week how many impressions per week uh, can you really expect it totally depends upon the traffic any particular website which has got good amount of traffic can give us a lot of impressions so like this cng station.co.in so 3 and 1/2000 3 and 1/2000 to 4000 in a week if you are getting in a week impressions and so forth a lot much uh, so indian petrol price is more than that 4500 to 5000 impressions per per week kind of a thing a lot depends upon uh, the traffic so this gives across a certain uh, this gives across a certain uh, what do you say 
idea about how much traffic would be there on all of these websites and so forth. Now this is to do with the sites and we can even check for mobile apps guys. Just click on to mobile apps. And here are the apps on which uh, you know, it's suggested that you can show across your uh, advertisement over there. So text ads is acceptable on this, on this mobile app, plus all these mobile ad sizes and so forth. And uh, these apps are like gas wale Indian, book my LPG, gas wale HPG and so forth. Now you can already see all each one of them are very much relevant to what the content is being going to be offered across, right? And so forth and so on, all of these. Similarly, videos. Now, how will we really go ahead and choose? So there is no none of the websites which are which are offering in this space the video section. Okay, so uh, there is nothing over here. Now, either we as advertisers pick and choose individual websites where we can go ahead and showcase across our banner ad. That's one thing of targeting. That's one way of targeting. The other way of targeting is by giving certain other piece of information to Google AdWords about uh, about the kind of content which we are trying to promote and the kind of websites on which our ad should be shown across. Let's say we do not take that route of picking and choosing uh, individual websites, individual websites which are part of Google Display Network. We don't take that route of targeting. We take another route and that another route is uh, of of that's another route of targeting is by offering by providing keywords keywords which would be taken across as an example as a input you know these keywords would be taken across as an input by google adwords to find all those various websites which have got content related to these keywords and on those websites the banner ad would be shown across right so Either you go ahead and put uh, put effort in finding out the websites where you should show across your uh, banner ad. Either you do that, or you go ahead and give in across an input to Google AdWords from the keywords perspective. From the keyword perspective, it means let's say you have mentioned a couple of keywords like LPG gas, LPG gas price, LPG gas connection, LPG tank, and so forth. These keywords you have mentioned on the basis of what exactly your product is all about, and uh, now Google AdWords will do its work at the back end. It will start looking at each and every website which is part of the Google Display Network and all those web websites which are part of the Google Display Network uh, will be checked and only those web pages or websites will be extracted from that entire network which have got content related to these keywords. Now the content related to these keywords uh, on those whichever web pages it would be, they would be fetched out and on those web pages only, the banner ads would be shown. The banner ads would be shown onto them, right? So this is one way of targeting. Another one, another way was the placement one which we were talking about. And another way of going ahead and placing your banner ads on this huge display network is either you go ahead and give input to Google AdWords from the interest point of view. Interest point of view, this is more to more about focusing on the audience basically. Now Google doesn't just have information about various different web websites which are part of its Google Display Network. Google has got more things than that. Google has got information about audiences also. People who search over the internet and what sort of topics and interest what sort of interest basically they have. Now this is about targeting specific people. Previously with placements and keywords that was precisely targeting through the website mode. So either you let Google know that these are the websites on which our banner ad should be shown or you let Google know that these are the keywords and please on the basis of these keywords pull out so many websites which are related to these keywords and show my banner ad to them. That's point number two or you give across another input to Google AdWords that and you let Google AdWords know that I have no information about the placement. I have no information about the keyword content. I can give you information about the uh, end audience interest. You know, that's something which I'm very much sure in particular about. So what happens is in the interest section, you go ahead and uh, 
look for look for various i mean look at the various different interest and the one which which goes with the interest which goes with your audience interest you go ahead and mention that so let's say in this example affinity audience auto enthusiast in market uh, motor vehicles oil changes cooking enthusiast so these are the suggested ones hybrid and alternative vehicles home decor investment services well we would have to really go ahead and see which one works the best i don't think any one of these would really work the best so underneath cooking enthusiast so there are like people who are clubbed under by clubbed under in this category by google uh, this category is the cooking enthusiast there are close to 1 billion to 5 billion impressions which one can get by targeting this set of audience right and they consist of 55% male and 22% 26% females and so forth right i don't think any of these options are making sense in this particular example in another set of example another set of uh, website uh, the interest might be very precise but over here i don't see even a single interest of our audience cooking range in stoves is there is that so okay home appliances okay here you go all right so cooking range in stove one can go with that right so this this is one when, which one can go for absolutely goresh thanks so much so this so these are the different ways through which you can let so what is it happening over here we are just letting google adwords know that please go ahead and showcase across our banner ads on those websites of the display network which fall under the category of such and such parameters one of the parameter is through the content the other thing is the interest where where the focus of google adwords is going to be more towards the people who browse across these google adwords websites the google uh, network websites not on the basis of the websites basically but on the basis of the viewers the audience basically so people who have uh, interest in the cooking range and stoves right they must be going on to various different web pages even if they go on to a cricketing website let's say you know people who have got interest people who have been searching quite a lot in the past related to cooking range and stove first of all they will be all put in across by google in this segment in this particular bucket of cooking range and stoves now whatever people have been in, you know put in across in this particular basket it's not that they will only they have only been visiting websites related to cooking range and stoves it's also it would have been various different websites which they would have go, going on to various different websites could be like let's say a person who is interested in cooking range might go on to let's say a website uh, which is for which is related to cricket right this is one example or that individual might go on to a website which is related to Mm, which which is related to a news website i mean which is a news website now the if these news websites or the cricket websites which this individual is going to is also part of the google display network google adwords will show this banner ad of ours on that news website or that cricketing website at that point of time when this audience would be there on these websites you know it would be more towards following the user instead of uh, placing the ad on a specific website if you're placing a web ad on a specific websites which uh, we saw in the interest of the keyword segment over there we might not have control on what all different kind of people come in there people who might be interested in uh, you know the content which is mentioned over here or who might have accidentally landed on those websites even we our ad might get shown to them also but if you are targeting with the help of interest you are just focusing on those people whose interest is this and they might visit several thousands of websites which are part of google display network and google adwords will make sure that the banner ads are shown only to those people only to those set of people who have got interest in that and on those websites which could be unrelated to that interest Because based on the product we are going to promote, target, we have to focus on 
to the point which shall give more results that's correct depending on the motto of the promotion absolutely absolutely the point over here as a marketer we have to make sure that we get the best of the best in terms of the promotion or achievement of a marketing objective and marketing objectives more or less either could be achieving higher brand awareness or achieving higher sales and so forth now in order to improve sales in order to improve the brand promotion or brand awareness uh it's not that we can strictly say that the keyword targeting is the best targeting in display or placement targeting is the best targeting or topics or interest targeting are the best targeting there's a lot of uh you know hit and trial which is needed so what you know the good digital marketers do or experienced digital marketers do they create one campaign where the targeting is purely on the keywords uh, stuff they create another campaign with everything being same but only just the targeting will differ this time in campaign b uh, other than the keywords the interest targeting is been taken and everything remains same the banner ads the campaign settings and so forth everything will remain same only the targeting will differ then comes in the topics in the topics section also there could be another i mean this could be another one right this could be another campaign which could be connect to the topics and then another another all right so that's to do with the targeting and similarly with relates to related to topic also this is purely on the basis of what people uh, go ahead and consume across people who consume content related to oil and gas you are targeting people you are targeting the audience so interest and topic are more towards following the audience placement keywords are more towards a website and similarly demographics is more also more about focusing the individual people people who are falling under this age group and so forth now these are certain suggestions google is giving us to follow to go ahead and target across males which are in the age group of 25 to 34 and females in the age group of 18 to 24 and with regards to parental status parents with between 55 to 64 and 65 to 65 plus which who are not parents i mean it's this is these are the suggestions and another targeting option is called the remarketing option remarketing is a great way of targeting over here you are not focusing with remarketing if being the other targeting option you are not let, you are giving across inputs to google adwords the from the individual websites where the banner ads should be shown and you are also not giving uh, inputs interest of the interest of a certain say, uh, audience you know audience who got certain interest they should only see, uh, see the ad with remarketing the input from the targeting perspective is that you letting google adwords know that please show my ads only to those set of people who have been to my website before remarketing is all that so there is a process of uh, what do you say called cookies there is something called cookies if somebody has been to my website called go gas in the past let's say in the last 30 days 60 days or 90 days all those who came to my website earlier whether it was uh, 500 people who came to my website let's say in the last 30 days only those 500 people will get to see my ads will get to see my these banner ads if i am using the remarketing option and where will they get to see my ad they will get to see my ad on on any damn website which is part of the google display network even it could be a website related to uh, a grocery stuff or a news website and so forth the content might not match but over here the point is that those 500 people wherever they are going who have been to my website first right and wherever they go whether they're going on to a cricketing website or a news website the cricketing website will showcase my banner ad only at that point of time when that individual who has been to my website before right uh, is there on that cricketing website right so it's more towards focusing on hitting upon those people who have been to my website before all right so we'll see we'll understand each one of them one by one so these this is a tool guys which gives us a lot of information a lot of inputs around that and what i'm going to do right now i will go on to creation of a google display tool a display campaign right from here i'm starting with the placement option 
with placement, we have got all these suggestions, right? There's so many websites which are being, so I'm clicking on the sites first. And let's say I want to showcase my banner ads on LPG. Now this is, you know, one bad part about this process of placement is that we do not have control on every single person who will come onto this website. There can be people who would land onto this website accidentally also, and they might really go ahead and click onto my ad. That is the disadvantage. We assume that the website is purely about that same stuff which we offer. So the synergies are going to be way too much. Synergies in the sense that the people who come onto the website will purely be uh, coming for the purpose of consuming content related to that LPG and so forth thing only. But there could be people who would come for some other other objective too. So I've selected some of the websites guys on the basis of these suggestions which have been given over here. What is happening is that I have asked Google AdWords to go in and take this targeting, this placement as the way of targeting across and I'm clicking on to set bid and budget. All right, so I've clicked on to set bid and budget. It tells me that on the websites, all the websites which you have selected, uh, you might, you can get across 324 clicks, these many impressions and cookies, I don't want to make you understand right now. These are the, uh, and this is the cost which you would have to spend, right? In order to get these many clicks, an average cost per click would be seven rupees, 30 pesa. Let's say I go ahead and spend, I mentioned that my daily budget is going to be 3000 Indian rupees and my maximum bid I put in across is eight Indian rupees. Okay. Now on the basis of my new bid and my new daily budget, I've been provided that your average cost per click can come somewhere around to this and these many clicks you can receive. I can change in my bid. Let's say this time I change to 20 Indian rupees. Let's say instead of 157 clicks and 4 rupees 37 cents, how much clicks? So I've got more clicks this time with my bid being improved. Same budget, bid being improved. Uh, my average cost per click uh, improved. My total cost, I'm not able to spend in the entire money also. 1,645 only out of total 3,000. Remaining 1,400 rupees or something, 1,350 odd rupees will not get uh, wasted. It's just that it's the total amount is not getting spent in all. So this is just an estimate guys. And I might get 259 clicks this way. Right. So I've got these options and uh, this is my ad group. My, uh, one of my ad group draft one, which does have all the sites being mentioned over here. I can go ahead and download this or I can save it to the account. I'm clicking on to save to account. When I click on to save to account, it says, do you want to add this ad group? So this was an ad group which got uh, saved. Do you want to create a new campaign underneath which you want to add this? Or do you already have an existing campaign of where, which, with, which you want to add it or merge it with? Well, it's going to be a new campaign. And my campaign name, let's say, is going to be the display campaign number one. All right, my maximum bid, uh, my bid maximum amount, and the budget is the same which I mentioned. I'm clicking on to save and continue. If I want to change this, I would have changed that also. Now it says your changes have been saved. Click here to view your new campaign. Now there were several things guys at the campaign level, which could be changed, which we do put up across. They all would be right over here. You can make changes to our campaign settings from this part. As you can see, here is a new campaign, guys, which got created. Earlier it was the search campaign. This time it's a display campaign. All right. Now, the settings, if I talk about the campaign settings, are right over here. I go into the settings tab. All right, so these were the locations, guys, which we under, which we entered initially, the locations, right? We can make changes to that. <clears throat> we can, uh, all right, 
so in the location advanced section it says do you want to target people in and around these look targeted location do you want to be uh, exclude those people uh, who show interest in uh, in your excluded location you want to exclude them yes i want to exclude those people who are not in my location right and would show interest because they might not be of interest to me because location is not matching up so you can let these be the default options languages part we have already understood bit strategy we also understood it's the same same things or they all are the same things which we understand during the creation of our search campaign right delivery method we also understood the other day if i want to you know dissect across my overall daily budget throughout the day i can select the standard delivery method but if i want to uh, exhaust my daily budget in one go i can use the accelerated approach right i also told you what are the various advantages of using the standard delivery method and so forth i'm going further down i can even do the scheduling part over here when do i want to start my ad when do i want to end and even for specific specific days i can mention my ad should start at this time my ad should stop at this time right then comes in the ad delivery ad rotation frequency uh, capping options guys now ad rotation means that how do i really want to rotate my ads within an ad group within an ad group if i talk about there are certain ads right there are multiple ads which are going to be there whether even if in, it was there in the search also we saw that within search also for multiple keywords there are multiple ads and over here also uh, within an ad group there would be multiple ads right sometimes it's going to be an ad one sometimes it's going to be an ad two we do want to make sure that all the ads come across in equal proportion and so forth then i we can let google know that we do want the uh, ads to be rotated and optimized for clicks and being shown across and being shown across uh, what do you say in a certain way that the best ones should be shown more basically R rotation should be there but the best one so optimize for clicks option will make sure that our best performing ads are being shown more but if you want the ads irrespective of their performance to be shown across evenly then you can select this one this one is not really recommended you always want to make make your better performing ads work more the ads which will get get you better clicks and so forth you try you go for this the other option is optimize for conversion if you want more conversions to be there for that you have to set up the conversion tracking part i think i did show you this or if not i'll show you uh, how how does the conversion process Uh, is being done how do you really let google adwords know that what is the conversion definition in my case whether it's a form fill up on my website or whether it's uh, just a visit on my website if you're looking at these conversions uh, i mean when you set up the conversion then google will keep moving ahead and uh, it will keep uh, focusing on displaying your ads in a way that you get across good number of conversions you start with optimize for clicks in the beginning because conversion one will not work till the time you do get across data you know your ads doesn't work and you do not get across certain conversion data you start with ad rotation with this now frequency capping is one great additional feature in the setting section of uh, display campaigns and which is not there in the setting section of the search campaign what it says is that if you want to go ahead and uh, create you know make a cap on uh, the number of impressions a particular individual we uh, number of impressions of an ad which a particular individual will get to see in a day you can do that you know usually what happens why is this being used let me tell you usually what happens is one particular ad or certain uh, camp certain advertisements of your brand of your brand will be shown across uh, good number of times in a day like let's say 50 times 80 times 100 times to one single individual this one single individual who will see 50 times your advertisement might get irritated you know he will be like oh my goodness whichever website i go every time i see across an advertisement from this particular advertiser i'm really 
irritated of this brand you know it at times it happens what's happening there's a uh, there are two disadvantages to it one it's leading to two advantage disadvantages for the advertiser the advertiser is not getting sale or not getting any uh, action after spending so much amount of money you know after showing it 80 times or 100 times plus it's also leading to a negative image of the brand it usually said that if somebody has to buy a product from you it or have to take an action maybe in a three impressions three times or four times or five times you show him your ad he might really buy it or might really take an action and if you're doing it multiple times you you're just irritating also and you're losing out your money also so make sure you do not show much more than a certain number of impressions and this can be set either on a daily base cap or a weekly or a monthly cap can be there and that too on a ad group level or a campaign or a specific ad let's say every single ad every single day should not be shown more than five times to an individual to a one specific individual you can go ahead and do that click on to save so ad rotation frequency capping now the next thing is device targeting now with respect to device targeting excuse me a second now with respect to device targeting guys if we know that our end audience are uh, you know they do get converted most when they are using a mobile device we can go ahead and use across the device targeting option and run across our ads only on the mobile device if you are pretty much sure on that if you are not pretty much sure then it's advisable to run across your ads on all the devices to begin with and then google adwords will give you the information google adwords will give you the information that your ads uh have given conversions for uh, let's say for from the device perspective you know the conversion table will come and it will it will give us the trend that majority of let's say the conversions which we have received have been received from the mobile device so if we got the data that 80% of the conversion we received has come from the mobile device we'll go ahead and focus more put in more our more of our money for people who are coming and accessing internet all over through mobile device only because people who have been converted uh, are very less a very less from a computer or a tablet device we might not target that in uh, underneath the mobile also we there are certain options that we can even uh, deva- you know you know give across instruction to google adwords that please make sure that my ad only comes on a mobile app and not on any other or maybe just add another one which is called mobile app interstitial mobile app interstitial is a full page a full screen ad basically which comes on the app app page only all right so if you want your ad to be come to be shown across on that section the full page uh, full full screen full page ad on a mobile app or if you want an ad on a mobile website also you can do that plus there are certain more other uh, targeting options other than devices and those options are from the operating system the device model and the wifi now these are some more options guys i can go ahead and pick and choose the from the operating system point of view that people who would be uh, seeing my ad are going to be only those who have got an apple operating system all right so if i know that my audience are the ones who use across uh my my audience who will who will be getting converted are the ones who majorly use across an apple operating system i can pick and choose that and similarly with device models also i can go ahead and give across instruction that people who would be seeing my ads are going to be only those who use across a specific device let's say i select uh, apple ios and underneath apple a certain iphone let's say people who use across iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus only they will get to see my ad now you see my overall targeting has become so much restricted for in what sense people who use across only of Apple operating system with iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus device only and uh, and device is definitely mobile for sure plus i can 
mentioned from the Wi-Fi part also that I want to show my ads only to people to those who are using, let's say, Airtel only on their iPhones, right? Only two types of iPhones, and that to Airtel. Onto it, I can go ahead and click on to save, and uh, these all options are very subjective, differs from business to business. And a lot depends upon how well you know the business, how well you know the target audience. If you're very well aware about the audience, which kind of gets converted the most, right? What are those common characteristics of those people who buy from you? You can use that knowledge of that common characteristics of people who get converted and put across all that information over here so that you are able to show your ads only to that set of audience who are more to more prone, who are more, uh, you know, closer towards getting converted instead of going ahead and shooting here and there, just shoot on that particular, uh, fish, which you already know that this fish has got those characteristics, which your, uh, you know, earlier conversions, earlier customers also have got, you know, they, they are representing the same stuff, same, uh, you know, uh, you can see characteristics, features and so forth. And, uh, it's a best bet to go for. These are the low hanging, low, low hanging fruits, basically. All right. These are the major ones. You can uh, forget about the other ones. Also, you can exclude the certain IP addresses, right? That's another one. If you know that there are certain uh, competitors of yours who try to keep clicking onto your ads, guys, uh, you can, and you know, they're somehow you get to know their IP addresses. You can go ahead and enter across their IP addresses over there and uh, click on to save. what will happen. Google will not show across the banner ads to uh, locality to that particular location, which has got that IP address, right? So you can use across the full IP address mentioned over here. And uh, this will lead to advertisements being excluded from there. All right. And then go ahead and click. Okay. This is the setting size. So we're not going ahead and clicking on to save. These already have got saved. And similarly locations, ad scheduled devices. We understood, right? Our ads now ads have to be created. So what has happened? Ad group got created guys. The ad group was being created. Settings have been done. All right. For this particular, because it's very interesting to know this much deep settings are possible. Absolutely. Yes. And that, that is the way, that is the reason why, uh, you know, internet marketing is being preferred all over the traditional marketing where you just spraying and praying that, you know, results will come in. That's it. This technology is absolutely interesting and, uh, helps you get across results very, very much more than what traditional marketing can help us with. Now over here guys in that ad section, now it's the time to go ahead and create across ads guys, click on to plus ad. Now we can create responsive ad, image ad, ad gallery, and so forth. We are starting with an image ad, which is the most uh, convenient one to begin with. We'll, we'll do that, do this one today, and then we'll jump onto the other ones later on. Now over here, it says that you can go ahead and put in across your URL and Google uh, display builder tool. There's something called Google display builder tool. This is the display builder tool. This display builder tool is asking us for the URL of our landing page. And once I'll enter, create an ad, Google display builder tool will start scanning the entire web page, the entire content on this web page, what all images content is there. And on the basis of that, it will start giving us ideas. So let's do this. I'm clicking on to create an ad. See the scanning part is getting done. Now the ad suggestions have come in. We do not need a designer guys. As of now, you can see it says headline description and so forth. We can edit that part. We can edit and get that set up. Here we do not need a designer automatically images, description and so forth. I'm going to have come in the overall logo has been fetched in. So let's say if I go for this specific ad guys, I want to edit this. I want to edit and I can change the heading for this, whatever heading I want, whatever description I want, 
if I want to change the logo, if I want to change the main image, right? I want to change the text over here in the button and so forth. I want to change across the, uh, you know, colors also in the, the color of the button, the color of the background and so forth. And here is the URL of the landing page, which is called the final URL and so forth. If you do want a final URL for a mobile also, if you have a different mobile website, so you can put in across that also. All right, then you go ahead and click on to done. It will be displayed on all the various different uh, advertisement, what do you say, designs, the, all the various different ad sizes. If you want to check how your other banner ads of different ad sizes of different ad sizes are going to look like, click on to preview sample ad sizes. Click on to this. And here you go. See, it's showing you a smaller one, a bigger rectangular and so forth. The skyscraper one, these are the skyscraper. Then the rectangular and the square shape, another one. Right, this is a skyscraper one. Then you have the leaderboard as this one so this is a leaderboard basically guys this specific one is leaderboard and the skyscraper one is this one at the bottom this one which is like this right you can go ahead and click on to okay and you can not, it's not that just you can select only one of them you can select multiple of them and there are more ideas Right, so you can select, you can type in across a headline of your choice, description of your choice and so forth and get this up done guys and so forth. Select across the ad group in which it would be part of it. So we already created across a ad group. I've selected that and all right, so you can update the headline, whatever headline you want. So let's say, what is the headline which you want, uh, Goresh? Or maybe you can put that across later on from your side. So just change the headline and so forth in one go by clicking on do update ideas and so forth. And then click on to, but it's not saving. So I'm getting saved. All right, so the ad didn't get created, guys. One second, I'll just create a responsive ad this time. All right, so over here, we have to enter across details in terms of final URL and all that stuff. This is a responsive ad. This is another ad group, uh, another uh, advertisement, guys. And it will show us how the ad is really going to look like. And this responsive ad, guys, you know, it will automatically change its heading, the overall size, depending upon the screen, whether it's a mobile screen or a tablet screen or a, so forth. So if it's a square shaped, but particular pixel by particular pixel, the size of the overall band of this back particular image will shrink in the same proportion and will increase in the same proportion depending upon the overall, uh, what do you say, place where it's gonna be shown across, okay? And where it says, okay, I shall update and confirm, absolutely sure. This is responsive ad. A while back, I had shown you the image ad. Now you could go to the ad gallery section. Now there are various options over here underneath the ad gallery. And for that, you need a designer. One is the dynamic ads, light box ads, all right, video ads, general purpose ads, and so forth, okay? It's saying for the easiest setup and widest reach, create responsive ads because responsive ads is something which majority of the publishers allow. All right. With dynamic ads, what happens is the text will actually change on its own depending upon what people are seeing and so forth. So it's saying an automatic in page creative template and automatic image ad comes in and so forth. There's several options over here. Or you have to select what sort of a 
business are you into are you more i mean is your business about real estate travel image travel hotels jobs a custom text flights text hotels and so forth education so what happens is these are text ads also and these are image ads in the dynamic what happens is the text is going to be dynamic it will keep changing depending upon where the ads are going to be shown so on the basis of where the ad will be shown the text will keep on getting changed so that's one beauty of this dynamic ads similarly light box ads if we talk about these are rich interactive formats and you pay only when people engage with these ads all right so you go with light box or right, it says that the light box ad says that please give us across the images videos and assets uh, which you have which you want and we will create ads for you you can add youtube videos also you can upload images videos and so so forth from your side or add videos from the youtube or you can scan you can ask uh, google adwords to go ahead and scroll your scan your website so i'm clicking across onto scanning the website and all the various different images have been extracted from here all right so it says choose the colors for your ad and we can say this one goes well we can add this we want this image to be this logo to be there and this image to be used let's say this image to be used this one to be used and this one to be used these all so let's click on to add and on the basis of this the light box ad will be get generated so let's click on to gen generate it ad. all right so here are the sample images the sample what do you say light box ad and the way it's going to look like is this all right so it's going to come and come in like this all right the sample ad is going to come like this it's going to be light box is very much like a animated thing it'll keep moving one after another on its own now you can absolutely go in and change across the text with whatever you want to right the logo the messages all of these so it says sample message as, as of now and you can do that perfect so you can go ahead and save this as of now or it just contains four errors because i have not entered across the details add details right i have to enter across the url select the ad group click on to save it says logo okay the logo url also has to be entered across the logo url is going to come from here it says open link in new tab open image in new tab so here is the url for the logo i'm copying it right from here and placing it right over here so you're going to save all right so responsive ad we saw image ad we saw light box ad we saw and so forth and there are several other guys app ads and so forth which we'll see later on make sense are we all good guys so let's just do a quick recap of what we did today we started with doing a, a, a with a great recap of what was being covered earlier with regards to the search ads with regards to uh, all the other stuff 
then we started with uh, understanding the keyword match types right the broad match broad modifier the phrase match the exact match and also the negative match i made you understood how do we really get to know what all keywords should be part of the negative match types right by going into the dimensions section you go to the search search uh, terms which for which the ad has appeared and then from there you get to know for which all search terms my ad has got shown and i you get across ideas from there then we went ahead and started working on the on the display campaign the first step which we took was with the help of the display planner tool we used the display planner tool we understood what are the different targeting options we implemented those targeting options and then straight away uh, we got the ad group created ad group was being created first with the display planner and once that was being created we started working on the campaign settings and at the campaign settings we saw certain new great level of campaign settings which was like the device targeting wifi targeting operating system targeting and so forth and then we went ahead lastly today was creation of the ads so i would request each one of you to please to uh, work around this on your own and play around with this tool a good number of times during the entire week guys and uh, maybe even if you spend across half an hour on daily basis that would be more than enough and refer to google ad google.com as in search engine only for various things related to display if in case you want to broaden your horizon further more right the recording would be shared with each one of you by nitin as you all know about that and uh, we would be meeting tomorrow guys same time and we'll start tomorrow with tomorrow's topic is going to be the video ads all right the video ads which we get to see across on youtube and so forth all right so the video one all right search we have done display we have done shopping would be done later on we'll do video app and then we'll go into the shopping part and then we would be done with our google adwords make sense so thanks so much guys thanks koresh and thank you uh Vijay, for being part of the session today, and we will be meeting across tomorrow same time. Thanks, guys. Take care and have a great rest of the day and enjoy your weekend. Take care. Bye bye. Thanks, Kurish.